Do you know that each time you have sex in your dream, you open up a portal for spiritual attacks? Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel. My name is Charity Lauren and in this video, I share the story of a young man known as Pastor Daniel Olawande who was consistently being harassed sexually in his dreams and how he was able to put an end to it. But before I go on, if you're new here or you've been watching this channel without subscribing, don't forget to click on the subscribe icon below. Give this video a big thumbs up and leave all your comments down in the comment section. Let's get started. Daniel Olawande was born in a very good Christian home on the 8th of August in 1991. His parents were actively serving God in the redeemed Christian Church of God. In fact, his mother was his Sunday school teacher. And at the young age of 10, a pastor had already prophesied that Daniel was going to be a pastor in future. So with that kind of upbringing, Daniel was what we refer to as a very good child. But all of that good boy act went downhill. One year after Daniel finished secondary education, he started drinking alcohol. He didn't even drink responsibly. He drank until he was drunk. Then he began masturbating and enjoying phonographic videos until he became so addicted to it that he couldn't stop himself again. And he was doing all of this while he was still 17 years old. He said any town he entered into, he must have a girlfriend. In fact, he had over 21 girlfriends at the time. He went for his IJMB in Ilori, which is the capital of Kwara State in Nigeria. And during one of the Sunday services, a pastor prophesied that he was going to be a pastor, but he should stay away from girls. After that church service, he forgot totally about whatever the pastor said and he continued enjoying his life as usual. He met one new girl in the town that he stayed and he went to go and visit the girl and then he slept with her. After sleeping with that girl, he noticed that whenever he slept at night, one old woman would come and sleep with him in his dreams. He wasn't really comfortable with it though, but he didn't mind. He continued doing what he was doing. He met another girl again and went to visit the girl. As he was about to have sex with the girl, all of a sudden, his manhood stopped working. He became impotent. The girl was waiting for him to do the do, but he, Oga could not perform. <laughs> Immediately, the girl started seeing some incantations. That was when he realized the girl that he was with was actually a witch. He immediately told the girl to shut up. And immediately dressed up and left the girl's house. On getting home, he began to cry. He immediately called that pastor that warned him to be careful of girls. And he told the pastor what he had done. The pastor told him to immediately start asking for mercy from God. And that was what he did. He immediately repented, rededicated his life to God. Started three days fasting and prayer. By himself, oh, nobody gave him. He took it by himself. He studied the word of God. He prayed vehemently. He was asking God for mercy. He was binding and casting with all seriousness. <laughs> he became very, very, very devoted to God. He went to church. He got baptized. He joined the workforce in their church. He would go out for evangelism. He would go to secondary schools to preach the word of God to people. He was just doing the things that would please God. He turned a new leaf totally. One day, he had a dream. And in that dream, Pastor Adeboye carried him to a river and baptized him. And then Pastor Adeboye told him that his name is Daniel. Before then, his name was not Daniel. His given name was Ayo. But after that dream that he had, he went to go and tell his parents what he dreamt and told them that he wanted to change his name. His parents allowed it. And that was how he changed his name from Ayo to Daniel. Because he had turned a new leaf, God actually showed him mercy and restored his manhood back to him. He became potent again, but he was still having that dream. That old woman was always coming to sleep with him every night. According to him, that woman almost ruined his life. He noticed that that old woman usually used to come and sleep with him in the dream by around 2 a.m. So he started praying from 12 midnight to 2 a.m. But immediately after he finishes his prayers, the woman will still come and sleep with him. Ah, ah. 
he was surprised he was he was worried he started asking if christianity is a scam because how can he be praying over one thing and the thing is still happening repeatedly as though he's not even praying over it but god told him that he should ignore the devil and fire up so he began to study the word of god more he just forgot about that dream he started studying the word of god praying in the holy ghost that's praying in tongues more he studied the word he'll pray in tongues if he sleeps and he dreams about that thing he'll just wake up change his boxers and just pray in tongues and go back to sleep again he just forgets about it he said after a while the dream stopped he didn't even know when it stopped because at that time he had already forgotten about it he, he didn't allow that dream to bother him anymore while he was sharing this story he said when you start walking out at the gym people do not notice any changes on your body uh, within the first one week or there about that you start going to the gym people start noticing changes in your body weeks after you have started that's how it is when you start praying concerning these things so when you start feeding on the word of god and praying in tongues you are building spiritual muscles that will soon show up and stop every devil don't stop praying with the word of god that is the only way you can end sexual harassment in your dreams pastor daniel is now happily married with two beautiful girls so if you're going through what he went through do what he did thanks for watching this video remember to click on the subscribe icon if you're not yet subscribed to this channel give this video a big thumbs up leave all of your comments down in the comment section and check out the other videos on my channel i'll see you all in my next video till then